How does it feel to be standing at the top of a peak surrounded by clouds overlooking a vast expanse of lush green carpet? To experience this feeling, I climbed the second highest peak in Karnataka called Kudremukh along with my friend Tushar. In this video, I would like to take you all along with me on this beautiful journey, sharing my experience and also sharing information so that you can plan this trip as well. Morning guys, it's 7 o'clock in the morning and today we are going to this trek which is Kudre Muk trek. It is roughly about 11 kilometers long trek and to reach the trek, I started from Bangalore so I drove down to this place called as uh, Badagal and from there we have to take a jeep to come to this beautiful homestay in uh, Mundali. Mullodi. Mullodi. Hmm. And yesterday we stayed for the night over here in the homestay. It's called Arun Homestay. And it's better to come to this place to start the trek because it is right at the base of starting part of the trek. So we have to start karte because we are already a bit late. We to the whole trek mein. And we have to go to Bangalore. So without any wait, let's start the day. What's up dude? Excited? So we have reached the check post. This is the police check post where you have to stop get all of your stuff checked. Basically, you are not allowed to take any stuff which can produce litter while you are there on the trek. It is very safeguarded because it is also the UNESCO World Heritage Site, which I just got to know after reading at the board. Now, a little bit about the fee structure. You have to pay 575 per head uh, to visit the trek. If you are taking a guide along with you, that will cost you 1000 rupees extra. And if you have a camera with you, then you have to pay 300 rupees per camera to enter the trek. And here the peak is almost 9 kilometers of a trail. So we'll start the trek now, like the real trek will start now. And I'm just hoping that it doesn't rain because if it rains, then everything will happen. Hey, brother, last one yes. o'clock up to Okay. One o'clock and return. Okay. Okay, na? Okay. So 530 we have to come back, hmm. otherwise there will be Pizzas. Extra fees. As you can see, यहाँ पर कोई तरीका नहीं अपने shoes बचाने का। मेरे full shoes अब drenched हो चुके हैं। Thankfully आज बारिश नहीं हो रही है। I'm just thinking कि अगर बारिश होती तो बहुत ही गलत scene हो जाते हैं। Because you have to cross a lot of streams of water, which are like legit streams. So that's a bit tricky. So we have made it halfway through the trek. We have completed 50% of the trail. And the last half an hour ka trail tha, that steep slope, that was crazy, man. Puri jaan nikalti, meri puri halat kharab ho because it was very steep. And it's for half an hour, so not that easy. Uh, now we have taken a stop over here. From here, the peak is another four kilometers. We will uh, have our breakfast over here, and then we'll start the hike again.
So now what is left is last 15 minute of stretch. Uh, the peak is roughly 2 kilometers from here and the last 15 minutes are also gonna be like very steep because it's a very vertical sort of a climb so I think uh, this last one hour of stretch and uh, half an hour of stretch pehle, like when we stopped for breakfast these are the two difficult stretch in this overall trek otherwise I think it's a pretty moderate trek that is the peak right there So made it to the top, it took us roughly about 3 hours and 15 minutes to reach to the top. Uh, I think the last part is like very very difficult, I thought it will be easy. Literally out of breath right now. But the feeling of being at the top, it's so amazing. Everywhere around is like so green, so beautiful, foggy. So it has been a really good experience being here. Now we are descending. So hopefully we should reach the homestay in next uh, three hours. And yeah, then we'll head back to Bangalore. We have finally reached this flat bed. High kabi puri khadam ho chuki hai. Ab yahan se bas chal chal ke wapis jana hai. It's 2:45 in the afternoon. We started at around one from the top, and hum logon ne beach mein aadhe ghante ka break bhi liya tha to fly our drones. So yeah, it took us roughly an hour to reach till here, and I think it'll be one more hour uh, reaching to the homestay. Climb karna kafi tiring hota hai, but descend karna kafi mushkil hota hai. When you are coming down, you have to be very tactical in terms of where to uh, place your feet and specifically in terrains like this where it is very slippery and we are traveling with a gimbal, <laughs> cameras and whatnot. So it becomes even more trickier. Now we'll reach to the homestay and then we'll be back to back. Guys, trek khatam hone ke baad, homestay pausne ke baad, journey khatam nahi hoti hai. Aisi roads pe chalne wali, four by four jeep pe baithe, aapko niche parking spot pe jana hota hai. Jo aapne hamari gari khayi hai. Is road pe jeep pe kya chal raha hai? Bahut hal kar raha hai. So this last jeep ride was not fun We were just waiting for this to end as soon as possible Because the roads were very challenging, they were very rough So the jeep was jumping again and again and We were bumping our head on the top of the jeep Sometimes we So it was adventurous but it was a half an hour nightmare We were literally uh, holding the rods and sitting Overall if I tell you, I really loved the experience being on this trek and I would highly recommend this trek to anybody who is visiting to Karnataka Now a couple of things I would like to add on over here is always be prepared for a rain if you are going for this trek and you are going to be so so always be prepared for that there are so many leeches on this trek so be prepared for that as well and last but not the least something about this town Mulodi Now Mulodi is a very small town so don't expect much from that place. In fact, there is no internet bhi nahi chalta hai. So you won't be able to use any payment gateway, uh, like online payment gateway. So always carry cash and don't expect too much from Mullodi. There is no one to get So whatever essential you need, always buy it from Badagal and then take it to Mullodi along with you. So yeah, that's all from this video. I hope you visit this place sometime soon. Do let me know if you visit, share your pictures with me. I would really love to see them. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Until then, peace!